blood oranges, radishes, um, sea beet, uh, shiso vinegar, um, olive oil, um, just really sharp, sharp, fresh, clean, clean flavors. Well, first my mind goes absolutely mental all over the place and then I just have to calm down and you know, the whole keep it, keep it simple, stupid strategy comes in and it's like, what do you want that dish to be about? Do you want that dish to be about uh, the New Zealand spinach Chinese growing? Do you want to focus on that? Or will I focus on, you know, the, the sweetie betty that Stefan brings in? Or will I focus on the hogget chops? Or, you know, like it's, it's always a main focus about the main ingredient of what you actually choose to work with. Yeah. It all ties in with, I suppose, living, living and preserving everything that you possibly can. The seasons are the seasons, and so if you wanted that, you bottled it. I remember being little and all I wanted was a Adidas tracksuit, and my grandmother made all my clothes, obviously, so I wasn't like the trendiest kid in school. And then the second thing all I wanted was a tin of beans or spaghetti, because my grandmother used to preserve them all in jars. And we'll just have these huge, big, like kidney beans, butter beans preserved in jars. And all I wanted was a tin, you know, with the sausages in it, like all the other kids had. But when I look back now, I think, God, that's my ethos of cooking now, you know. You could have a ceviche and kai and then go on to have a massive stonking Brady steak. And that's what I wanted. And then you, you have room for a custard tart afterwards as well. You know, that, it's, it's a very simple dish. Um, a lot of people can do it at home, which I wish everybody could do it at home. I wish everybody did it at home, especially with the lovely fish that we have around Galway. It's a childhood memory for me, getting brought up in New Zealand, um, living with the Pacific Islanders, the Maoris, a whole bunch of lovely people from the islands. And um, it started off as a raw fish dish, and we call it raw fish in New Zealand. So I was just like, how can I make this dish sellable in a little restaurant in Galway. So it's basically a roundabout ceviche made with my little touches. I don't want to ever stop traveling because I think the more you travel, the more you learn. The more you learn off everything, even going to markets, like, um, but like things that we have in, in our kitchen in Kai that is pretty special to us. Like um, we have the beautiful Kolegi Hulumi made by Silka um, Kolegi cheese, and then we have the Noklara sheep's cheese, very, very special to my. Uh, no matter what happens in Kai every week, that cheese has to be on the menu somehow. It's just, I love sheep's cheese. Um, a range of things from Galway honey, Galway hooker, beautiful little microbrewery, Galway, yeah, Galway hooker. Um, braise anything from pork, stews. Um, we have made a um, Galway hooker custard tart before. It was an experience. The important thing is, you know the people that are providing food for your restaurant and you know where it comes from because it's your responsibility as a chef to feed people the right things. Yeah, so that's how I feel. Spring, you know, people are out walking the prom and they're going out for dinner. Um, they're getting back into their routine after the the winter of stews and mashed buds and root vegetables to something just really fresh, really clean, um, really sharp. You know, especially after you know walking the prom, glass of prosecco and ceviche. Can't beat it. You deserve it.